Africa. Yes, I told you. <laughs> Me, I told you. See it yourself. See tilapia. Ah, la, 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 la. See, this is even the, uh, the, the uh, a smaller one among them. Who said tilapia cannot do year work? Yo, Aze, guys. Aze, I hope you remember Mr. Makafu. <laughs> uh -huh, Mr. Makafu Day here. Today we are at uh, a friend's place. Yes, he yes. also my business partner. Exactly. Uh -huh. He's in. He's into what? Uh, he's into aqua poly. Uh -huh. So now. what is he doing now? People came to life like I know you will. Well. People complain. Look, look at this small space. Uh -huh. Tell them the number of tilapia. So guys, Charlie, we they go. We they go look at what our guy is doing over here. <laughs> All right, welcome to my veranda, aquaponics. I will say because aquaponics is on my veranda. So I would like to start explaining from this side. This is my fish tank. Normally this is not a fish tank, but once you put fish in there, it turns to a fish tank. Exactly. <laughs> so this is about 1,000 liters, uh, what do you call it, IBC tank. It's a food grade tank. And I have this tarpaulin tank, which I made, a small tarpaulin tank, that's what I made. So the question is, what is happening over here? What is happening here is quite simple. I am, feed, I, I am having a, a, I'm finding my tilapia. And at the same time, I want to get some crops in addition. This is a technology called aquaponics, whereby you get fish and vegetables together from one system. You want to feed the fish. This is about 150 slightly adult ones. These ones are the smaller ones, I would say the fingerlings. I told you, <laughs> me, I told you, see it yourself, see tilapia, ah, la, 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 tilapia. see, this is even the, uh, the, the uh, a smaller one among them, who said tilapia cannot do here well, Charlie, technology, oh, see, 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 see for yourself, yes, see for yourself, uh, uh, life surface area, oxygen, all the things are here, see, Charlie, call us, oh, uh, eat fresh. Let me see the fish. Yes, the one, the, the, the one they sell to us. <laughs> Do you know the chemicals? The one they sell to us in the mind. Do you know the chemical? This is organic. This is what? Organic. Okay. Charlie, let's come together and then grow things. We grow. Look, over here we have everything. We have vegetables. Hey! Wow! Hey! <laughs> Let me leave that one. <laughs> wow! Wow! He said you want to see big tilapia, I'll show you big tilapia. <laughs> Personally, I wasn't believing that you can grow big like this too. I love big as it. Wow! <laughs> when he said you want to see big ones, you got the big one. Wow! I'm sort of west. I don't know what to say again. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how, 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 how we can convince you. See, see. Uh, 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 thousand liters. Thousand liters. So, see, wow. the kind of tilapia we can harvest there. Just see the tilapia yourself. So please don't wait. Don't wait though. Don't wait. Call us. Let's come and let's do the system set up for you. Then you start harvesting tilapia like this. Wow. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Right here on the pond, I have this water spinach. So this water spinach is also food for the tilapia as well. But I keep them here so that they also help with biofiltration. You know, taking out ammonia and nitrate from the system is very, very important. So as you can see, this water spinach, I also have water lettuce here. They are all helping me do one thing. Take some of the nitrate from the system. At the same time, it's fish feed for them. So 
when I don't have enough feed, I just take some and just plant it in there and my fish also have feed. So what happens to the system is that I have a pump which is under this grow bed. So this is the pump and this is a reserve tank or a sump tank, however you want to call it. It's the place where I have enough water to circulate through my system. So here some people like to keep fish. I keep some few fingers and when they are growing to adult, I just move them to the big tank. My system is a self-sustaining system. So I breed my own tilapia here. I grow them to adults and also sell, sell some to as many as want some fingerlings. So over here is what we call the grow bed. Now what this grow bed does is biofiltration. You know the fish eat, uh, the fish feed is full of protein. And when it goes through the fish system, it comes back as ammonia. And the ammonia will kill the fish. If you have too much ammonia in your pond, it will kill your fish. They will stop feeding and they will gasp and they will die. So the problem is we want to take out the ammonia. How do we do it? We have some natural bacteria that convert ammonia into nitrates and another natural bacteria that converts it to nitrite, where it's good for the plants. So we are using the plants to work together with the fish to have uh, to achieve our goal by keeping our tilapia at the same time getting some fresh vegetable out of them. This is ginger. I know commonly known as contumbre and I have here my eggplants. This is a black beauty. Now they are all growing in this gravel. It's gravel and palm kennel. Uh, this I use as a grow media. At the same time, it's an area where the natural bacteria can actually inhabit to convert the ammonia into nitrates, where the plants can also pick up the nitrates and use as food. And I'll get my nice uh, fruited uh, tomatoes. These tomatoes are about two weeks old. And trust me, the next video we see them fruiting up. I planted them directly. There's a system whereby you can also nest them and transplant. This is turmeric, this is ginger, and I have this mirror, I have this pepper. This is a big sand pepper. The weather hasn't been so kind to it, that's why it's, it's not all that nice. But trust me, some few days, as we go to hot temperature, the pepper will do very well. And the cucumbers have harvested a lot and they are about the end of their season. But this mirror is grown in a, what you call a Dutch bucket. I have one Dutch bucket and this is the down of this whole plant. It's going to fruit okay, a lot. So the question is, normally when fishes are in sec tanks, you change water. But in this system, because of the grow bed and the filtration, you don't need to change the water. This water has been here for one and a half years now and it's still the same water that the fishes are surviving. I harvest and uh, I restock. Okay, so if you do me a time to uh, come forward for me to show you the, how the system works. We have this standpipe, so you can see the water is being, uh, uh, what do you call it, filled. The pond is being filled with water. The question is, why is it not overflowing? The overflow goes through this pipe. The pipe is connected down there at the back side of the pond and comes to this very first filter. This is a clarification system. This filter takes care of the bigger solid. It traps all the fish poop here. From there, it moves on to the second filter, where I have biofiltration that goes on in here and also act as clarification. From the clarification, it comes to the sump tank. And from the sump tank, the pump picks the water up again. When the pump picks the water up, it divides them into two. So if you can follow this pipe, it comes up. This is where we have the tea. And the same water from down there is being dropped onto the grow bed to fill the system. There's a bell siphon which regulates the flow of the water in the grow bed. So these plants are living on the uh, fish poop. I would say fish poop directly because it's converted to ammonia and nitrate and all that. So this is how the system works. The pump picks it, drops some here, drops some here, and drops some there. What happens is when the plant takes all the nutrients from the water, the water goes back to the sump tank. It is oxygenated at the same time, and there's no nitrite in the system. So therefore the water becomes clean and the water goes back to the fish. So there's no need for you to change your water. What you need is after a week you clean your fortress. Then your system keeps running. You have your vegetables and you have your fish. Yeah, so this is basically the system. And this is how I've been uh, farming my tilapia just at the back of my house. Yo. Uh, hello B wise. You have all the chemistry, all the mechanical work, you've had it all. Mm -hmm.
In fact, if you want to go into it, it's very simple. Yes, call us, we'll come and do the setup for you. Over here, I can see very big tilapia skin. Who said tilapia cannot do work? People say you need a very large surface area. Right here, we can put 150 to 200 tilapia and they will grow up when the system is being set up. So please, don't scam the challenge. Ghana, the world is growing old. Charlie, come on board, let's do new things. Just let don't wait for the white man to come say, you know, we are doing everything here. So please, if you are into it, Charlie, just call the number and then we'll come and do everything for you. But don't forget to subscribe, it's very important. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs>